Hey there, welcome back. I came out here to let uh, Fergus out to use the bathroom and he's run off, of course. But to my delight, look what I have found here. Look at this. My pigeon orchid, whose name all is below somewhere, but it's known as the pigeon orchid. And I found that there are some little buds getting ready to open. Very exciting. This orchid only lasts about 24 hours. So I made sure to put it here somewhere where my family and I can bump into it when we uh, come in and out of the house. But look at that. It looks like it will be blooming within the day, next day or two. And I will post those up when um, hopefully I'll wake up to uh, some new blooms. See, they're really, really, really tiny, but they're very, very fragrant, and they only last about a day. Oh, now, if only I could get Fergus to come back. This is another piece of the pigeon orchid that I showed previously. It was growing so much that I took a couple of little sprigs and put them over here. This one has never bloomed because it is under uh, a more shaded area. Also, maybe because it's too new, I don't know. Maybe it's just too young to have bloomed yet. But I have no blooms yet. I did find, however, uh, one of these, which normally leads to a, uh, a little bud eventually, but nothing yet. Uh, never bloomed, so I will keep you posted if it does. And yet, here's another piece to the pigeon orchid. I have basically three different types of growing. The first one I showed, which is the one that throws blooms every now and then, that one is basically growing by neglect. That's the only one that's blooms and basically gets rainwater when it rains. And every now and then I will hold it down, but it is very grateful and it's blooms about three times so far. This is another piece that I took from it because it was really overgrowing out there. Uh, and this one actually has the tag. And there it is. It's a Dendrobium cruminatum. Dendrobium cruminatum. So that there's a picture of uh, one of the last times it bloomed. This one here, as opposed to the previous one next to the Buddha, uh hardly this one gets more light the one with the buddha hardly gets light it's sort of like a side light that it gets but this one gets since it's in the balcony gets a, a fairer amount of light not as much as the one that blooms but again this one might also have not bloomed because it's a young plant or young cuttings of the original plant uh, but i'll keep you posted on this one and on the blooms uh, that i'm waiting for to open keep it buzzing guess what i missed it i missed the blooming of the dendorbium crementatums the pigeon orchids i missed them they bloomed and lasted about 24 hours and and by the time i said oh i'll walk the dogs out and i'll take out the video camera and i'll tape it and uh, this and that and up and down the stairs i went within 24 hours the blooms were gone so i guess i'll have to wait for the next blooming cycle which should be soon because last year not this one this is just a baby from the one uh over by the entrance um it bloomed about three or four times so uh, i guess when it does decides to go again i will film it uh, but to make up for that i do have these beautiful buds look at this check it out i've got a spike here a spike here and a spike here here and look how lovely the plant looks it's really happy this is turn it around i made the poor decision of making this a community pot uh, i think i'm gonna oh, oh, oh. i think i'm gonna have to uh, uh, repot these oh no nothing the dendrobium pretty dolls these are the ones that are currently i'm awaiting buds for got one two and three buds but i made the mistake of putting them with these poor guys and as you can see i have a tight growing area 
This was a this is like the Dropium um uh line dance minuet and uh, what is it that they call these? A Dropium I forget. But anyway, yeah, she's got some damage. I think it's it's from cold and also I am treating this little guy for uh, fungal, so I'm kind of taking a little bit of precautions on a lot of different uh, aspects of it. But I do need, oh, Crumantatum, no, not the Crumantatum, darn, I forgot the name of this guy. But um, I think I'm gonna have to repot it because the more I learn from all the videos that I watch online, the more I understand that this uh, certain type of dendrobium needs a, a little bit less water during the winter. So now that it's spring, I don't even know if it's worth moving it. But yeah, it was a big mistake putting her here with these dendrobiums. So I'll keep you posted on the status of these buds as they develop. Remember to stay safe out there, everybody. Wash your hands. Lots of soap and water.